didn't really find much. They thought they found, found a bomb casing at one point and there was a bit of excitement. Turns out it was just a bit of metal and that was it really. CSO Works is a deep excavation, not as deep as the shaft, but it is approximately 14 metres deep. We're about seven and a half metres down so far, so just over halfway. Uh, we have about another six metres to go. Currently in the excavation, we are breaking out a lot of DSM, which is a lot of hard concrete at the moment, uh, and we are cutting out some diaphragm D walls for our subcontractor to build the capping beams and then later stage build the internal walls and the slab. So the main purpose of the CSO is for an overflow from the current sewage system. It'll be an interception chamber and that'll feed directly into the deep shaft. Welcome to Kemp. Behind me you're looking at the shaft. We're currently at 43 metres deep. We've got another 20 to go. We've just hit the chalk so that's a big milestone for us. A little bit harder to dig. Nice white colour. There'll be a little bit of excitement amongst everyone for, for reaching that. We won't be ready to receive the TBM like the other sites by the time it comes through under, under the river here. It'll go past whilst we're finishing off, we'll put the tunnel in then. It's about a 10 metre long connection tunnel and we'll connect into the tunnel rather than the other way around where the TBM comes through the bottom of our shaft. It's currently a logistics hub on site so we've got all the services to feed both the Greenwich Connection Tunnel and the main tunnel. So all the materials come in here, get packaged up into cassettes and sent off to feed those two TBMs. So we're hoping Selena will arrive in sort of March time next year. From June this year, we need to get the shaft ready. So we need to get the roof off that's behind me currently, set the ventilation and the access systems up. And then there's a pressure vessel to build at the bottom, ready for Selena to drive into. Once we're going 24 hours from here, we'll probably have 120 people maximum. 